directeur voor loskundige um, assistent kent professor Nicolaides, omdat we uh, echografies uitvoeren en, en alle basissen uh, in de echografie zijn in feite door hem uh, ontwikkeld, of toch zeer veel zaken uh, in de echografie. Dus ik kende hem via zijn werk. Ik heb hem dan persoonlijk leren kennen uh, op, op een congres. Uh, ik heb hem gevraagd of ik uh, bij hem een opleiding mocht komen, na mijn opleiding in België. Ik ben dan 2,5 jaar naar uh, Londen gegaan, naar het uh, King's College Hospital, de Harris Birthright Center, waar hij directeur van is. Ik denk het ontwikkelen van de nekplooimeting en van het op kaart zetten van de echografie op 12 weken is, is het belangrijkste en meest verspreide uh, werk toch wel. Er wordt dagelijks door elke gynaecoloog overal ter wereld gedaan. Op 12 weken kijken we naar uh, de structuren uh, van de baby. We kunnen reeds heel veel zien op 12 weken en meten we ook de nekplooi. De nekplooi uh, indien uh, normaal geeft een laag risico op trisomie 21, dus Down syndroom en aan andere chromosomale, genetische en ook structurele afwijkingen. Indien deze verdikt is, geeft een verhoogd risico en, en geeft ons de noodzaak weer om verdere testen te doen. Nu hij heeft die uh, nekplooimeting helemaal ontwikkeld. De niptest is nu ontstaan en wordt recent ook algemeen toegepast. Ook daar heeft hij aan meegewerkt. Dus die screening naar uh, chromosomale uh, en structurele afwijkingen is denk ik toch wel de belangrijkste uh, realisatie uh, die hij uh, ons gebracht heeft op futaal vlak. Professor Nicolaides is iemand die in feite altijd werkt, is iemand die gepassioneerd is door zijn werk, um, heel perfectionistisch is in zijn werk en, en ook zijn werk wil doorgeven aan anderen zoveel mogelijk, wil, wil leren van zijn kennis aan, aan al de fellows en aan al de mensen, in feite ook al de, al de andere gynaecologen. Um, hij organiseert jaarlijks een wereldcongres met meer dan 2000 deelnemers en hij houdt de prijs bewust zeer laag om iedereen, ook uit derde wereldlanden, de kans te geven in feite om deel te nemen aan het congres. Het is altijd zeer interessant. Um, het wereldcongres bij hem, uh, om 9 uur avonds, zit iedereen nog in de zaal te luisteren naar hem. Uh, zijn er zijn nog altijd discussies bezig. Ik heb nog nooit een congres meegemaakt waar in feite iedereen zo lang uh, blijft luisteren. Uh, er zijn altijd weer nieuwe dingen, altijd, uh, altijd interessant, ja. Dus uh, ik ga elk jaar. <laughs> I would like to say to Professor Nicolaides, Kyrie katita, thais alanasas efgaristiso, ja ola osa kanatea mena, ja olus tus research fellows, kea olas tis kenekes tu cosmo. Honorable Rector, Your Excellencies, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, dear students. Fetal medicine is a peculiar discipline because in contrast to other specialties, our unborn patients are hidden and we cannot take their medical history or perform a physical examination. Until 40 years ago, we could only palpate them to their mother's abdomen. But we have come a long way since then. We can now use ultrasonography to find out if they are healthy or ill, if they want to stay inside a little longer or are desperate to be born. We communicate with the expecting parents who entrust us with the care of their unborn children and who deserve accurate information. Life before birth, although none of us have any recollection of it, significantly impacts a person's future health until well into adulthood and thus deserves to be studied and looked after with great care and devotion. Therefore, it is wonderful that today this honorary doctorate is awarded to someone who is truly at the forefront of this relatively new field in medicine. Allow me to say a few words about Professor Nicolaides, better known as Prof to us, as a pioneer, a scientist, a physician, and a teacher. Professor Nicolaides is a pioneer. There is no evolution in fetal medicine to which he did not contribute, either in terms of its discovery or its refinement. In the late 70s, when he was in his fourth year of medical school, Prof. Nicolaides had to choose an elective. While most of his fellow stu students chose a tropical destination, Prof., who is notorious for his fear of flying, remained in London. 
There, Dr. Stuart Campbell, an enthusiastic gynecologist from Glasgow, brought along one of the early ultrasound machines and introduced young Professor Nicolaides to the fantastic concept that one could actually see the unborn baby. Since then, Prof has made ultrasonography an indispensable part of obstetrics. From the very start of pregnancy, right up until the actual birth of the baby. He is most acclaimed for introducing a universal first trimester or 12 week scan. What started as a mere screening for Down syndrome by measuring the fluid behind the baby's neck evolved into an opportunity to identify women at risk for later pregnancy complications for which early intervention improves the outcome. But seeing the unborn baby through a scan was not compelling enough. So together with Charles Rodek, he developed fitoscopy to actually look at the unborn baby through a miniature camera. This minimal invasive technique was first used in the early 80s to transfuse blood to unborn babies affected by rhesus disease. Since then, however, it has become the first choice treatment for unborn babies with twin twin transfusion syndrome, diaphragmatic hernia, and probably in the near future also for spina bifida. Let me now talk about Professor Nicolaides as a scientist. His groundbreaking research resulting in 1,554 papers and an age index of 114 changed obstetric practice across the globe. He not only focuses on the minute number of babies with rare anomalies, but also pushes back frontiers to detect and prevent the major complications of pregnancy, such as premature delivery, high blood pressure, diabetes, poor growth, stillbirth, and more recently, invasive placentation. His findings have resulted in a radical change of how we will deliver prenatal care. Instead of seeing women frequently towards the end of pregnancy when all complications occur, we will start seeing them more in early pregnancy, allowing us to predict and prevent the complications from happening later on. Prof. Nic Nicolaides' research is entirely self-funded by his own charity, the Fetal Medicine Foundation, through revenues gained from clinical practice. Like Hilda said, every year in June, Prof. also organizes the Best Value for Money Congress in our discipline, which is attended by more than 2,000 professionals. Although it is always organized in a sunny location around the Mediterranean Sea, the conference room is packed from 9 a.m. To, to 9 p.m. with colleagues eager to learn about the latest developments. I also need to say a word about Professor Nicolaides as a physician. What is extraordinary is that besides his enormous research output, he is first and foremost a dedicated physician. He has the unusual gift of not only performing these extremely delicate procedures, but also bonding with patients who just received the most devastating news that something is wrong with their baby. His unconventional approach to dissipate tensions and truly connect with parents originates from his childhood experiences with his father, a general practitioner who traveled by donkey to visit patients in remote Cypriot villages. Professor Nicolaides has always been a strong advocate for affordable and accessible care. He also introduces the benefits of ultrasonography in developing countries by actively training and collaborating with local physicians. Finally, let me talk about Professor Nicolaides as a teacher. Prof has the talent to explain complex concepts in simple terms, and he's in, an incredible source of inspiration. The brilliant idea to introduce terms like lemon and banana as a way of describing the abnormal shape of the head and cerebellum in babies with spina bifida greatly improved the sonographic detection of this condition. Prof is also a true mentor for the hundreds of doctors from all around the world who completed a two-year fellowship at his unit. He inspires us to aim for the best possible quality of care. One of his quotes, and actually my favorite quote of him is, you would not want to buy plastic shoes for your sh yourself because they make your feet smell. So why should you offer them to your patients? We can safely say that the way fetal medicine and obstetrics is practiced today would not be the same without the invaluable contributions from Professor Dr. Kipros Nicolaides. For all these reasons, Honorable Rector, and on the recommendation of the Academic Council, I request you to confirm the Honorary Doctorate of Kari Leuven on Professor Kipros Nicolaides.
Professor Kipros Nikolaides, Kai Leuven is honoring you for your innovative insights into the organization of prenatal care, which take into account the scarcity of the available people and resources. For the development of universally applicable, validated and efficient screening methods for conditions with the highest impact on a mother and her unborn child. For developing the concept of the fetus as a patient by using prenatal diagnostics and by offering the possibility of prenatal treatment. For providing globally accessible training, continuing education and quality control. For these reasons, and I hereby bestow upon you in my capacity as Rector of KU Leuven and on the recommendation of the Academic Council, the degree of Dr. Honoris Causa of this university. My congratulations. My congratulations for an impressive career. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very grateful to Lisbeth for her kind words. I'm grateful to uh, my good friend, Jan de Prest. I want you to feel that uh, you should be very proud of having these two physicians from this small town that have made major contributions in the field of prenatal diagnosis and fetal surgery. So congratulations to them much more than me. Um, I'm grateful to the rector and the academic council of the university for this great uh, honor that I receive not so much as a measure of my achievements, because I don't think that there are that many, but as a measure of the support of this university to all those doctors throughout the world that do not accept the terrible reality that every minute a woman dies somewhere in the world as a result of problems arising from pregnancy and delivery. For all those doctors that have developed their lives for the improvement of the well-being of pregnant women and their children. So I thank you very much.